welcome back, welcome back. Shit, it's cold. <laughs> Can you see it? <sighs> welcome back to my channel. I'm back again, 2022. First challenge, we run 50 kilometers in 10 days. I can't wait, I wanna share the journey with you. As you guys already know, those who've been following me, I love to run. I'm running 365 days of the year. For January, I've got my first challenge, which is run 100 kilometers for January. And this is the mini challenge within January, run 50 kilometers in 10 days. So guys, we're just going straight off the bat, flying, loads of challenges, loads of excitement. Can't wait, I wanna share the journey with you. Let's see how I did, what the results were, and was it worth? We start off with day number one. I'll put the clip up here now. Yes, yes, everyone. It's currently January 2022, and this will be my first video of the year. So I've decided to set myself a little challenge, and that will be to run 50 kilometers within 10 days. And that works out to be approximately five kilometers every single day for the next 10 days. January, I'm already trying to run 100 kilometers, but I said, hey, let me fast track everything, and let's see if I can do a little mini challenge to kickstart my year, give myself a little challenge. So, so far today, I've gone to the gym and I've done a 5K. I'm gonna put up the time up here i hope i carry on for the next nine days and see where i get to we can all start the year on a high so guys if you haven't already subscribed please do give me a like and give me a comment let me know where i should run next and i'll see you guys on day number two peace day number one was tough i just sort of was in the gym and i said i want to set another challenge spice things up what do i want to do so i decided right I'm going on the treadmill 5k we're doing it smashed it out i'm ready for the challenge progress on to day number two yes yes everyone welcome back to day number two so this is my 50 kilometer challenge and i've just completed my second run it was a bit tough i am tired but i look forward to day number three where i'll try to complete another 5k run we'll see how it goes wish me luck and i'll catch you guys tomorrow peace so on the 11th of January was day number two I completed a 5k road run and it felt quite great actually though my motivation and my excitement was dropping a little bit I'm still ready to go for the challenge as with any new task the early days are always going to be the most challenging but once you kick through the early days everything is just a home run so day number two went down nicely 5k in the bank let's go to day number three Welcome back every guys to day number three of my 50k challenge. This afternoon has been a little bit tough because it's really, really, really cold, but I thoroughly enjoyed my run this evening. I've managed to complete another 5k run. I'll put the times up here. We just keep going, we keep moving. I think at the moment I'm just really focusing on zero days off. So by whatever means, I'm going to get my work in. I'm going to get my runs in. I'm looking forward to tomorrow, day number four, where we'll be on 20 kilometers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. We kick off with day number three and you can see that I'm getting tired. I'm not enjoying the cold. Like you can see today is really, really cold. Getting up in these cold weathers, guys, is a challenge, but it's one of the best parts. Once you start your day with a challenge and you've completed it, nothing can stop you. Day number three in the bank. Let's go to day number four. Morning, everyone. It's day number four. So I've just completed my 5k run. Today I've actually done it at Nuffield Gym and it was a little bit different. So I did it on the treadmill. It's a little bit more different running on the treadmill, but nevertheless, we got the work done. I feel good actually. I feel like I've had a great sweat on and I feel like I've had a good workout. So I look forward to seeing you guys on day number five and hopefully I'll be halfway through my challenge. Let's keep it going guys. Wish me well. Peace. Thank you. Day number four, I was at Nuffield Gym. Love going to Nuffield Gym, that's where I meet a lot of my pals. It's a great environment. I met up with a couple of my close friends, Maka and Jay at the gym. Did a soldier's session and these boys go hard. That day was really, really good. Done my treadmill, run. I love meeting up with my friends. And I think for anyone that's sort of starting their fitness journey, do it with your friends. Do it with as many people as you can. If you can get your friends along with the journey, why not? Let's get them involved. Let's go and see what day number five was. Good morning, everyone. It's currently day number five, officially half through our challenge it feels great actually thinking about it this challenge was a bit daunting but knowing that i've only got halfway to go i'm just getting the work done this morning i'm going to the running track so i'm going to try scheduling at least a 5k run and see how it goes so thanks for watching thanks for supporting i'll see you guys after this video is done peace day number five as you can see another location i have a local running tracks near me and i love going there because it's 400 meters you can just go round and round and round and you put your headphones in and you can pick up pretty good pace so when i do my tempo runs i normally head off to the track yeah that was really really enjoyable run that was a morning run that i did and yeah it was amazing guys almost halfway through at this stage now i'm approaching 25 kilometers so buzz day number six 
good morning everyone welcome back to day number six so officially over halfway through the challenge i feel amazing actually four more days to go was a little bit tough the first couple of days but we persevered and we're getting it through my daily message today would be to get up and get it done regardless if you walk 10 minutes or if you run an hour just get up and do some sort of movement it's good for you it makes you feel amazing so i'll catch you guys back tomorrow on day number seven peace Day number six, I'm starting to really, really enjoy it. First days are gonna be really, really challenging, but honestly, just turn up, just show up. So yeah, guys, let's see what day number seven brings. Yes, yes, everyone, welcome back to day number seven. This morning, I'm at my local canal, and I'm gonna aim to do a six kilometer run, and I wish to see you guys tomorrow on day number eight, and I hope everyone has an amazing day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, peace. We're doing a canal run, one of my favourite runs. When I was in my old house, I had the canal right next to me and I used to run on the canal 2021 and I love running on the canal. It's so peaceful, you see so much great scenery, boats. It's amazing, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. So yeah, I did my 5k down the canal. Let's get into day number eight. Yes, yes, everyone. Welcome back to day number eight. I'm almost there, guys. I've done eight days in a row and I feel amazing. I've literally got two more days to go. To be quite honest, like the first few days were really, really challenging. But once you sort of get in the rhythm, once you start getting in the groove, it feels pretty good. And yeah, of course, you're not going to see um, a drastic change in this challenge over 10 days. And I'll catch you tomorrow on day number nine. Day number eight. Guys, are enjoying this journey. Please like, please subscribe. Please comment what other challenge you want me to be doing. You know, I enjoy putting up content for you guys and and this is just one of many to come out throughout the year. And I've got a challenge in my mind of running 100 kilometers in 10 days, and that's gonna be a crazy one. That's gonna drop soon. I've got a challenge of do 100 push-ups for 30 days. That's gonna be a crazy one as well. And I've got many, many ideas in my mind, guys. Let's get into day number nine, and we're almost there. We're almost at the finish line. Let's see how it goes. You really have to find motivation somewhere to get out of bed and sort of start the run, but I'm really, really proud that I've managed to stick to something and actually accomplish a challenge that I've set so guys I'll see you tomorrow on day number 10 peace day number nine you can see the cold is hitting me actually get it to me day is zero so minus three wow waking up in the morning at minus three and still getting that 5k run done now I'm really really proud of myself watching back through these videos it's almost like you're reliving and it brings up so much emotion and you're just thinking i actually done that imagine when i get to 365 days and i look back through all my progression through all my clips see the results that have happened i'm gonna be really really proud so let's get straight into day number 10. good morning everyone welcome back to day number 10 we've officially finished our 50 kilometer challenge and i'm gassed i don't want to shout too much because it's early in the morning but yeah guys it's been a struggle very rewarding very challenging and I feel amazing actually in terms of how I feel at the start of the challenge to how I feel right now different high man this running feeling it's a different kind of high it's so addictive so that's my first challenge of the year done so thanks for staying on with the journey we'll see you at the end of the year peace and love there completed 50 kilometers in 10 days was it worth it it was more than worth it amazing it just shows that i can complete any challenge i put my mind to it though this was a small challenge if i create myself even a bigger challenge a bigger ambition bigger goals i can do it just break them up into daily manageable tasks and it was done the results what were the results guys so my 5k started around 38 minutes and i got it down to sub 30 so really i did progress in terms of getting my 5k down again but of course when i started the journey i was doing lots of walking and running and then to the end of number 10 i was actually running throughout the whole 5k so i got my 5k down a couple of minutes and though it doesn't seem that much of a big improvement it's an improvement for myself and i'm really really happy and in terms of like weight how i feel i've not really been paying too much close attention on my weight I'm really paying close attention on how my clothes are feeling, how my face is looking, how my body is looking and feel tighter I feel in terms of my face, my face is slimming down a lot. If I put it down to sort of measurements on the weight or on the scales, in January I weighed 113 kg and coming to the end of January right now, well at the 30th of January I'm down to 109 so I've sort of dropped about 3 kg. It's a slow and steady progression. At the end of the year hopefully I'm sub 100 kg we'll just keep going with it i just want to get strong i want to get fitter i want to get faster looking great will come as a byproduct of it 
So guys, thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Thank you so much for being with me on the first challenge of the year, running 50 kilometers in 10 days. There's many, many, many more challenges to come and I can't wait to share these challenges with you. Have a look through my YouTube playlist. I've got a few different challenges like the crossbar challenge, me running two marathons in two days. More challenges are gonna be put up on this YouTube channel as well. And just get involved guys, like I said, DM me. If you wanna link up for a session, shout me. And if you think I can't do a particular challenge or you wanna set me up for a particular challenge hit me up i'm game at the moment i'm the crossbar challenge king so whoever thinks they can beat me on a crossbar challenge get involved hit me up let's see what i can do in 2022 and if i can motivate one person just one person to get healthier to get fitter that's me i've completed my mission i've completed my goal guys thank you so much love you all and i'll catch you guys on the next journey peace you cease the train but i'm not going to continue speaking because you hear the train, so I'm gonna wait for it to go. Whatever means necessary. Mm -hmm.